Good evening guys, this is Samuel and today I am going to walk you through the basic configuration of the routing information protocol RIP version 2 and this video just um, assumes that you already know how to configure router interfaces with IP addresses because we're just going to go ahead and configure RIP. Um, this setup I have here have all the routers already configured with their interfaces so we're just going to set up right between them. Um, but first, um, let me tell you what's going on here. We have three routers on three different networks, New York, California, and Tennessee. Um, we have three lines in each uh, area, and right now all these networks cannot talk to each other. Uh, for example, if I was over here and I wanted to ping or send an email or do anything over here, it wouldn't go through because these routers don't know routes to get to the local area networks. That's why we're going to configure RIP. So to test that, I'm going to go into this host and ping a host in California, which is ping 192.168.2.2. And of course, that's unreachable because the router doesn't know how to get there. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start configuring RIP and let's start at California. Um, whenever we advertise RIP, we are going to advertise the networks that this router is physically connected to. So he's connected to the 192.168.2 network, 2.0 network. He's connected to the 172.16.2.20 network and the 172.16.3.20 network. So whenever you advertise RIP, you advertise the networks that this router is physically connected to. So we'll do the same for all three routers. So we start with California. Okay, so we're going to advertise the networks that are physically connected to it. So it's 192.168.2.0, which is the LAN. And we also connected to two WAN interfaces, which is 172.16.3.20 network. And then network 172.16.2.20 network. So once you do that, you call AND. And then we'll go ahead and go to the Tennessee router and we're going to advertise this LAN network and we're going to advertise this WAN network on that router. We advertise the LAN network and let's advertise the WAN network which is 172.16.3.0 so we do an end and then the only one we have left is New York so we go to New York and we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna advertise the LAN network and we're gonna advertise the WAN network and the WAN network is on the 20 subnet uh, thir it's subnet slash 30 so the network ID is 20 so don't get confused so version 2 sorry can type version 2 no auto summary and then we're gonna advertise a network so network we're gonna advertise um, since we're in New York we're gonna advertise 10.0.2.0 which is the one the land side and we also advertise the WAN side which is 172.16.2.20 okay so we'll call an end there and now we have RIP configured on all of these routers. Okay, so to check, let's see the routing table to see if there's any updates yet. So I'm going to go over here and check the routing table. Okay, so as we can see, we have t three new routes which have been learned through RIP on this router.
and this router has also learned of two new routes which is the uh, the lines on on both on these other routers so we can see that WERP is working so we should be able to ping a host on any network conveniently from anywhere so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping this host over here in California from the New York and remember when we did this in the beginning it, it did not work so let's try now and see what happens so we're gonna ping 192.168.2.2 Whoop! it's working now so RIP has successfully been configured to test on the other networks I'll ping from Tennessee to New York so I'm gonna ping the host in New York which is 10.0.2.2 .2 and bam there you have it so RIP has been successfully configured um, uh, for information I'm using Packet Tracer for for this demonstration and this is a really good tool to have um, to practice with um, like I said I'll be posting more videos and feel free to subscribe and have a good day